Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be explaining the possessive forms, possessive nouns, and possessive adjectives. Over here we have the first um, the first grammar point which is possessive nouns. How to make possessive nouns. For example, I'm going to underline here, we make the possessive nouns like this. We have the noun, we have the noun, an apostrophe, an S, and the object, right? Noun, apostrophe, S, and the object, for example, the the girl the girl's computer the girl's computer la computadora de la chica right this contraction here is not the verb be but is the possessive i call it the possessive contraction contraction the possessive contraction right which is formed by an apostrophe and an s so la cual se forma por una apostrofe y una s but when the noun is in plural we don't have to write the s for example the girls the girls the girls apostrophe the girls computer computer cuando va en plural decimos la computadora de las chicas solamente colocamos el apóstrofe si el sustantivo está en plural aquí vemos girl is in singular but here girls is in plural so when we have it in plural, we just need to write the apostrophe. We don't need to write the S. That's the basic rule on how to form the possessive nouns. Here, I'm going to underline more examples. Here we have the boys, the boys, the boys name. Right? El nombre del chico. And here we must use the article D. Y aquí podemos utilizar el artículo D or da. In este caso, the pronunciation is da boy because the noun begins with a consonant. Cuando el sustantivo inicia con una consonante, la pronunciación de esta palabra o del artículo se es da. Cuando inicia con una vocal, se pronuncia the. An example is the apple. It's not the apple. The apple. La manzana. Let's go back to over here. When we use common nouns, esto es un sustantivo común. Con sustantivos comunes utilizamos the or da. Utilizamos el da here. But with names, we don't use this article. Pero con nombres propios no utilizamos el artículo. Por ejemplo, Laura. Laura computer Laura's computer Laura's computer is on the table Laura's computer is on the table la computadora de Laura está en la mesa no utilizamos el artículo da or the here something else that I want to highlight algo que quiero mencionar cuando utilicemos nombres no, hay nombres que terminan en S. No quiere decir que el nombre está en plural. For example, Carlos 
termina en S. Carlos, si queremos añadir el possessive contraction, we must do like this. Carlos, yes. Carlos computer. Carlos computer. Esa es una forma de hacerlo. Or, we can also write it like this. Carlos, the apostrophe, and the word computer. And both of them are correct. Ya, yeah. ambas formas están correctas. We could use the S, the apostrophe and the S, or in the second one, we can just write the apostrophe or type the apostrophe and then the noun. Carlos computer and Carlos computer. Ambas están correctas. Atención con nombres que terminen en S. Podemos hacerlo de ambas formas. Nombres propios. Con sustantivos que no son propios, we must use the article the or the. Like in this case, the girl's pen, which is in singular. And here, the girl's pen. Moving upward, let's move on. Um, hay sustantivos que son irregulares. ¿Qué quiero decir con sustantivos irregulares? Que la forma cambia. Like in this case, man, the man, the man's car, el carro del hombre, is in the garage. Está en el garaje. Man es un sustantivo irregular. ¿Por qué? Si observamos aquí el plural, the plural form is the man, the men's cars, the men's cars are in the garage, ya, los carros de los hombres están en el garaje, y entonces aunque estén en plural, Sí debemos colocar el apóstrofe y la S porque el sustantivo es irregular. No está formado con la S. We don't make the plural form of these irregular nouns adding an S, but changing basically the whole thing or a vowel or a letter in the world. In the word. Moving on to picture... Um, Yeah, I think I already explained this one. For example, friends and friends. Cuando está en singular y cuando está en plural. Here we have the singular form. And over here we have the plural form. So I already explained this over here. In this part here. And we need to determine whether the noun is, or whether the noun is, um common or uh, proper. Debemos determinar si el sustantivo es común o es propio. Cuando es propio, no añadimos el artículo da or the. En este caso, like in this example, Juan is, um, is a proper noun. Es un sustantivo propio, is a name of a person. So we use Juan's brother is sick. El hermano de Juan está enfermo. Or Miguel's house is very far. Or here, Carlos' girlfriend is at the party. Aquí hay ejemplos. Cuando utilizamos el apóstrofe eh, con pronombres, um, con, con sustantivos propios. I think this is all. This is all, I think. Um, with the possessive noun with the possessive noun we need to make sure that when we are forming or making the possessive noun we must add we must add an s to the noun for example the cats the cat's food la comida del gato Or the 
cat's food is on the floor. La comida de los gatos está en el piso. La comida del gato, in this one. The, the thing changes when the noun is in plural. When the noun is in plural, it's in plural we just add the apostrophe. We just type the apostrophe. But when it's in singular, we need to write the apostrophe and the S. When we are using proper nouns, like in this case, and the proper noun finishes with an S, we add the apostrophe and the S, and then we add the noun, Carlos Computer. Or we can also go or use the second option, which is only typing or writing the apostrophe and the noun. So I think this is it in regards to the possessive noun. But about possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, what are the possessive adjectives? The possessive adjectives are all of these ones. These are the possessive adjectives. Todos estos son sustantivos, eh, adjetivos possessivos. My, mio, our, nuestro, your, suyo, um, he, suyo, pero de él, or su, her, suyo, o su, de ella, their, su, or sus, de ellos. It's, cuando hablamos de animal, por ejemplo, for example, or for instance, um, the cat's, the cat's food, the cat's, the cat's plate is white. El plato del gato es blanco. Su plato es blanco. Its, its plate is white. Yeah? Aquí I'm using its, I'm using its because, aquí estoy utilizando its because I'm talking about an animal. Aquí estoy utilizando it porque estoy hablando de un animal. The cat's plate is white. Its plate is white. Yeah? Su, de un animal o de una cosa en singular, es utilizamos its. Over here, we have a picture of a man. So we say his hat. Here we have a picture of a woman. We say her hat. Over here we have two people in one picture. We say their hats. I think this is pretty easy. We just need to look at the picture or we 